how to install custom third-party watch faces just like this on your Garmin Venue 2. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go into the Garmin Connect IQ store and download third-party custom watch faces that look really cool and display tons of data on your Garmin Venue 2. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so to install watch faces on our Garmin Venue 2, the first thing we need to do is go to our respective app store and search Connect IQ. This is an official app from Garmin, and this allows us to install not only watch faces, but widgets, apps, and different things on our watch. So it's a really important app to have on your phone. Check the description, I'll have direct links down there for the Google Play Store and the iTunes App Store for iPhones. Once you get it installed, go ahead and open it up and make sure that you keep your watch close to your phone. That'll aid with its connection. And from here, you'll see all the different things that are available within the Garmin Connect IQ app. Now, if you have multiple Garmin watches, when you go into the Connect IQ store, it's important to make sure that the correct watch is selected. And to do that, we just go down to the menu, select My Device, then go up to the top, select the three dots, and then select the device. From here, we just need to find the Venue 2, select it, and then we can start adding watch faces and apps, things like that. So now that we've selected the Venue 2 within the Garmin Connect IQ store, to find watch faces, just go down to search, and then at the top, select watch faces. Now we can see a list of all the watch faces that are compatible with the Venue 2. Keep in mind, you can sort at the top by popular, recent, and even their rating. So I recommend going through this list, finding one that you like. I'm going to install the Christmas jumper from Garmin just because it's getting close to the holidays. And if you're looking for this watch face, this is the SC9. Once you find the watch face you want to install, go ahead and select it and then just select install. There may be some permissions that you have to grant and this is just so it can display that data on the watch face. So go ahead and select allow. Then once you do that, it'll go into the install queue. And also within the watch face screen right here, we can also look at reviews to see what other people are talking about when it comes to this watch face, which can be important. So now that we have it installing, we can check the installation status by just simply going to My Device in the bottom right. And then from the My Device screen, you can see that it's currently in the download queue. So I recommend just giving it a minute or two to install. If you find that it's not working, try holding down the top right button on your Venue 2, and then just find and select the Sync button to manually sync the watch. So now, as you can see, that switched it to installing. And you can even see in the bottom right on the devices, it has the little green ring. This shows you the progress of the installation. In my experience, depending on the size of what you're installing, it can take several minutes because it is transferring through Bluetooth. So just give it some patience. Once it's finished installing, it'll change the watch face automatically on your Garmin Venue 2, and it'll no longer be in the download queue. And you'll be able to see it within my watch faces down here in the my device section. So in here you can go in and you can uninstall it, but some of the watch faces also have settings so you can customize them further. Like with this one, we can change which scene is on or just have it loop through all the scenes and then you can choose what will be displayed under the clock. So I'm gonna do my steps there, but you could do different options within that. And some of these watch faces will have tons of settings that you can change, such as adding data, different things like that. So I definitely recommend going into the settings. Once you've made your changes, select save, and then after the watch syncs again, you'll have your new updated settings on your actual watch. So, all right, so that's how you install watch faces on your Garmin Venue 2. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Venue 2 tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.